Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to talk about REC and XREC in Business Central. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where you can find the source code that is a reference for this all the code which I'm discussing in the video, in the particular video in this GitHub page. Okay, this is a public page so you can watch it and this is my blog you can find the written instructions on whatever the topic i'm discussing i'll be uploading it soon so you can find the detailed information about that particular topic here so if you want to follow my blog please click here uh, to follow okay if you click here follow you can uh, you can you will get the updated information about everything which I, whichever i'm posting so first of all let us understand what is rec and xrec so here you can see rec and xrec okay so x rec and xrec are system defined variable okay so these are all called as a system defined variable we have various system defined variable for example cur page c u r r p a g e okay cur report request options page current field uh, number so like that we have various uh, system defined variables so these are all called as a variable okay so which is already defined by business central itself so in dynamics 365 business central it will automatically declares and initializes several variables that we can use when we develop applications so let us understand what is rec when a record is modified this variable specifies the current record including the changes are made okay whereas x record is when a record is modified the variable specifies the original value of the record before the changes okay x record means that will specify current change even whatever this change it will show the current thing okay so for example uh, if you say like this rec and xrec will work um, in page and table object okay so uh, so let us see how to use this first and then i'll show you uh, what is the uh, thing for that? So for this, I'm going to extend the page. Okay. I have already discussed about the page extension in my previous video. Please go and watch that if you don't know the basics of page extension. So in order to do the page extension, I'll be writing the page extension to get the extension snippet. Okay. This is the extension snippet. So I'm just going to give the uh, extension ID as this. Okay. If you have already declared this ID, then it will not definitely work for you. And I'm just giving xrec as my page extension name. And which ext which uh, page I'm going to extend is what the customer. Um, let us see. It should show up. Okay. Customer card. So I'm just going to extend the customer card. Okay. I'm not going to do anything out in this actions and layout because I'm just going to extend something. Uh, that is, I'm going to add something trigger in the existing uh, customer card. So this trigger is common for the page extension. So I'm just going to write the trigger here. And if you press control and enter, you can get the on after get record. So these are all the various triggers you have. Okay. So if you want to see XREC, okay, because what I, I have already told you that the XREC, you can see the thing only if it is modified okay and rec will give you the current record whatever the data it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a trigger on open page okay once your page is opened what the trigger it should uh, show so i'm just you going to use inside the begin and end and i'm going to print a simple message and i'm going to use what rec dot and i'm going to display the address here okay whatever the address while i open the page whatever the address it is it will be showing okay so i'm just displaying a message on um on open page the address is okay and since i am uh, i'm going to print something uh, on the screen that is a print value so i have to use percentage one here okay and here you have to uh, um, separate it with the comma okay so on open page the addresses and if you want uh, to write something else you can write it before modify 
okay that's it so this is what i have written this is on open page and then now i'm going to add one more trigger because you can find the difference of the xrec only if you are if you have modified something so i'm going to use what on um on close page okay when you try to close the page or you can also use modify okay you can also use modify record okay so i'm going to write an another uh, uh, trigger here uh, and i'm going to print the message um, on modify uh, what the address is address is percentage 1 and here i am printing record dot address and i'm also going to print the x record that is before modification what was the record okay on modify before the previous address okay for this i'm going to print what x rec okay x rec dot address so i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to do it here first time i'm just going to print the current record that is a record which is there in the rec uh, address and after modification what is printing out okay so let us simply execute this because this is in the customer card so customer card is uh, 22 page id so you have to change it in the launch.json or else you have to go and check for it press ctrl and s and let us execute this okay so now it is launching so we have executed the code using ctrl f5 and now you can see how it is displaying okay so we have to we have launched the customer card okay so i'm going to click this card you can see that uh, once if you click on this customer card you can see a message on open page before modify the station road is 23 okay you can see the uh, uh, address here so you can see the address here this is 23 okay this is what we are actually doing okay and once if you click okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this okay i'm going to change this to 24 and since it is saved and i'm just going back okay because what we have written is on modify record okay on modify record it is modified and if i press back now it is showing that on modify the record is station row 24 that is the first um first message which we have written that is record dot address which is showing the current record 24 and if you click ok on modify the previous address this is for x rec okay that is the previous record you can click ok so this is how you can make use of rec and x rec here so again i have changed the message like for example this is for rec and this is for x rec it will show you so i hope you understand the logic behind it what happens for example if your variable uh, for example if your variable is 5 and after modification you are changing it to 6 okay or you are just incrementing the counter or something else like that so what happens the rec value will store the current record whatever you have changed even after you have changed that will store the changed record but x rec will show, store the previous record that is what the difference okay so uh, finally like you can understand what is rec, rec and xrec so this can be applicable this is applicable only for table and page like objects okay like table extension even we are extending we are creating a page right and uh, the system this is uh, provided to us by microsoft itself that, like that is the system variables these are called the system variables okay so until a record has been updated by modify or if you haven't changed if you have changed something the record represents the current record data in the process and rec x record represents the record data before it was modified okay so what we have did you can easily understand that once if you open the page on open the page you can find that the address is what address was like 23 right 23 so this is the record okay this is rec whereas after we change uh, we have changed to 24 so anyhow record will be storing that is rec will be storing 24 and x rec will be 23 that's it okay so you have to think about where to use it efficiently 
I hope you find this video useful. So this is a simple and easy step. You can use it wherever you want if you understand the logic behind it. That is what the concept. So when we develop a project, I'll show you where we can use it. Okay, where we can use it and how we can use it. And we have various other system variables as well in Business Central. So we'll be learning all these things, all other system variables gradually. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.